Hey guys, Connor here today at eTrailer.com. We're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Dimco Commander 2 tow bar for Blue Ox base plates here on our 2020 Jeep Wrangler. So here's what our tow bar is going to look like hooked up between our Jeep and our motorhome. As you can see here, we have a nice black powder coat finish. It's really going to help it blend in. It's not going to stick out near as much as some of the other shinier powder coat options. Also, if we take a look at our tow bar here, we're going to notice some features that not other tow bars have. First of all, it's going to come with our safety cables here. And not only that, they're going to be integrated into the tow bar arms. If we look on the bottom here, we're going to have these nice little keepers here. Basically, this is going to help our cables from not dragging the ground. It's also going to give us a nice combined package to where everything is already connected for us. We just have to install a tow bar and then connect our safety cables. We don't have to worry about misplacing these or attaching them separately each time. Everything's going to be a nice, one convenient, easy package. So another feature integrated into our Dimco tow bar is you're going to see the silver rod here on the outside of our arms. What this is for are what this is for is it's going to help us secure some of the extra slack for our electrical connector. So if we have a coiled electrical connector, which we do, what this is going to do is we're going to take the coiled end and we're going to feed it through this rod here. And this is going to help us secure our extra slack so we don't have to worry about it dragging on the ground while we're driving down the road. We'll put the coiled portion through and then we'll secure it with our pin and our clip and then we can go ahead and make our connection to the vehicle. But as you can see, everything is just a nice seamless integrated package here. If we take a look at our tow bar arms here, the inner arms in particular, which are these silver rods here, you'll notice that they're a little bit offset, meaning we have more showing on this side than we do that side. So basically what's going to happen is when we pull our motorhome forward, both of these arms are going to self-center, self-centering our vehicle behind our motorhome. That's one of the unique features here about this Dimco tow bar. We don't have to worry about pulling perfectly parallel to the back of our motorhome here. These self-centering arms are going to both extend to the proper length and lock into position as soon as we take off. So another really nice feature about the Commander 2 tow bar is that we have the non-binding arms with these latches here. So basically what this means is if we have a tow bar that is binding, it doesn't have the non-binding feature. Basically, once we pull forward, lock our arms out, travel down the highway, then we get to our campsite and we're ready to unhook the vehicle from the tow bar here, we're going to have a heck of a time doing so if we're not completely level. The non-binding design, however, gives us a little bit more room for air for that. We don't have to be com on completely level ground, we can be at a little bit of an angle. These release tabs here, which are going to release the tensions from our arms here, allowing us to disengage our pins here and remove the tow bar from the vehicle. They're going to be much easier to use due to the non-binding design, whether we're on completely flat ground or we're on a slight incline. We have an adapter right now that allows us to make a direct connection to a Blue Ox base plate kit. That's just one of the many reasons I like this Dimco tow bar is that there's going to be tons of adapters to attach to all major base plate kit manufacturers, such as the Blue Ox we have here, the Dimco ones that it comes with, as well as Roadmaster and E-Trailer. So here we can show you a little bit better example of the self-supporting arms. Basically, again, we're not gonna have to worry about them falling. If we lift them up, they're gonna stay in the last position that we adjust them to. So they're gonna be very easy to work with. One of my favorite features of this Do Dimco tow bar in particular. But once they're both tilted up, we can turn them all the way to their side there and then we can just press them down to lock them in the stowed position. If we take a closer look at the mechanism that does that, we're gonna see we have these red ears inside the head of our tow bar, along with these silver alignment pins. Basically just sort of acts as a keeper there, keeping them in place. And now finally, what we could do is just take our safety cables here, just wrap them around our tow bar arms so they're nice and out of the way, they're not falling down, dragging the ground. We could do the same with our electrical connector as well due to that silver rod we have there. In regards to weight capacities, the Commander 2 is going to be rated at 6,000 pounds. This is going to be plenty for our little two-door Jeep Wrangler here. It's never going to weigh more than this, so we're going to have plenty of extra room for air 
with our tow bar here. Now when in doubt, it's always a little bit better to go overrated for the tow bar, which is gonna make the Commander here an excellent option for this Jeep. So now that we've gone over some of the benefits and features of the Commander 2 tow bar, let's go ahead and show you how it's installed. So the first step of our installation here, we're gonna take our tow bar, we're gonna get it out of the box, make sure none of our safety cables are binding or anything, get the instructions out so we can follow along with those. Then we're gonna take our tow bar here, making sure we pay close attention to the label that that's facing up. We can go ahead and insert this into the receiver on our motorhome. So you can see there we have a few hitch pins. And we need to go ahead, just align one of them. Then we can take our hitch pin and clip here. And we'll take our clip here and secure it in place. We're gonna take our arms here, lift them both up, and we can go ahead and align them with the tabs on our base plate kit here. We'll take one of our pins here, making sure the bent end is facing outward. And we'll line up our holes here. Insert that there like so. Then we'll take our linchpin here, making sure that the angle portion is facing in towards the Jeep and lock that in place. We'll go ahead and do that same thing on the other side. So once we have our tow bar connected, we'll go ahead and take our safety cables here and route them through the safety cable tabs on our base plate kit. That finishes it for the vehicle side. We have a couple more connections we need to make here over on the motorhome side. Take our safety cables here, we'll cross them once or as many times needed to get rid of the slack and attach them to the trailer hitch on our motorhome. So if we take a look at the shank on our tow bar here and how it attaches to the head, we're gonna see a loose bolt on either side here. Before we tighten this up, we wanna to check to make sure our tow bar is level. If we look at it now, it's gonna be fairly level, but we need to be within three inches from the motorhome and our Jeep here. So in order to do this, we're gonna measure from the ground to the center of the trailer hitch on our motorhome, and then from the ground to the center of the base plate tabs on our Jeep here. So these two measurements need to be within three inches of one another. If they're not, we can make some adjustments with the built-in high-low adapter on our tow bar, or we can purchase one of these separately here through e-trailer. But it looks like we're pretty good how we have it now, so we're gonna go ahead and torque down this bolt here, one on either side, using a 19 millimeter socket to the specifications in our instructions. And that's gonna do it today for our look and installation of the Dimco Commander 2 tow bar here on our 2020 Jeep Wrangler.